I'll be talking about diabetes today. So, diabetes is one of the most commonly diagnosed disorder in our country. So, what is diabetes? It simply means raise blood sugars. So, why is it so important to know that whether a person has diabetes or not? Because diabetes is a very silent or chronic disorder. So, if we don't appropriately diagnose, it causes complications like vision loss, kidney failure, reduces immunity. So, how do we diagnose diabetes? Diabetes is diagnosed by doing blood tests and checking the sugar levels. If this test is done in fasting, any values which is more than 126 is considered as diabetes. Mm -hmm. If the test is done in a random sample, or postprandial, which is two hours after breakfast, the value of 200 or more is considered as diabetes. We also do a test called three months average sugar levels, which is glycosylated hemoglobin, abbreviated as HbA1c. Any levels which is more than 6.5% is considered as diabetes. Why do a person get diabetes? So, diabetes is due to the deficiency of insulin hormone where the production of the hormone itself is less from the pancreas or the body tissue is not responding to the insulin called as insulin resistance. This particular event gets triggered or predisposed by many events like sedentary lifestyle, obesity, stressful work, then genetic predisposition, all this lead to development of diabetes. How do we manage diabetes? The first and foremost important thing is strict diet control by avoiding sweets, by avoiding sugary drinks, adding extra sugar or adding sugar to coffee, tea or fruit juices, avoiding starchy food like potato, beetroots. So, this is the important step. The equally important step is to have regular exercises. The current recommendations suggest 150 minutes of regular walking over a period of a week. It's also important to do self-monitoring at regular intervals, which is suggested by one's own doctor or whenever the person is not well or in a stressful circumstances. It's also important to know the importance of using the medications, whether it is tablets or injections, and also to know their common side effects. In order to do this, you need to have a regular follow-up with your doctor and have a, 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 